You guys ever try a Bigfoot? Me neither. Let's check it out together right now. Alright guys, this came all the way from Trinidad. Okay, that's an island someplace in the sea. Anyway, that's my knowledge of geography. Anyway, so this is a cheese flavored corn snack. Nobody likes cheese flavored corn snacks in the shape of big feet other than me. All right, why would anybody want to associate cheese and feet? You know that stuff that's in between your toes? Anyway, some people call that Fomunda cheese. Anyway, what's Fomunda cheese? That's it. It's the stuff between your toes and it's cheese and feet combined. This is cheese and feet combined too. Here it is. Smells like feet. All right, here they are. They look like feet. Three-toed feet. All right. All right, here we go. Let's try it. It tastes like Fomunda cheese. I'm kidding. Toe cheese. Nothing like toe cheese, guys, to start your day. Anyway, um, why would they put this in a foot shape? I just don't get it. Put it in a cheese shape, okay? Cheese shape. But big feet makes no sense to me. This makes, it's completely illogical. That's how they do business in Trinidad and Tobago. All right. Think of Cheetos, think of cheese doodles, the puffy kind, but not good kind. I hate to say it. I mean, give me a puffed cheese doodle or cheese. Give me a puffy cheese doodle any day over this. I ruined my appetite thinking of the cheese the toe cheese stuff, forget about it. All right, this is just bad marketing. Who knows, maybe in Trinidad, this is the most popular item they have, but to me, I just ruined it. Um, anyway, taste-wise, it's not horrible, not great, average. Cheese doodles are much better. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, 4.5. All right, let me know if you, <laughs> let me know guys what you think of these cheese of the, the guys, let me know what you think of these big foot cheese flavored corn snacks in the shape of feet. Cheese and feet don't belong together. All right, marketing 101. Cheese and feet don't belong together. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we'll see you in the next interviews. Later, Gators.